In this video, we're gonna talk about the eight best rules to get better at typography. That should mean something to most of you, the italic piece of tower. What's up guys? I'm Adrian Sul, a freelance designer, traveling around the world, working remotely. Right now I'm at the Pisa Tower in Italy, uh, traveling with my family. And on this channel, you're gonna learn about motorbikes. No, on this channel, you're gonna learn about uh, scaling up your career to become a better designer faster. How about that Pisa Tower, right? I'm still dreaming of Italy. But I'm in an even more amazing location right now, which is in Nice, France. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. And please make sure you check out the description below. I'm gonna be sharing links and more information about this video. But before I start, I want you to know that at the end of this video, I left some bonus material exclusive for you to watch. But first, just absorb every second of this video and that's gonna probably gonna make you or improve your skills as a typography guru. <laughs> All right, so number one, fonts. Make sure you stick to one font, generally speaking. But if you have to use two fonts for sure, but not in the same class. So for example, don't use two sans serif fonts. Number two, your font size choice should always be doubled up so for example if your uh, let's say your body type is at 16 pixel then your header is going to be at what <laughs> 32 pixel you know in general keep it readable for sure don't go with tiny little fonts no one can read number three white space or also called negative space and your doctor recommends you to indulge in white space it just helps your whole design breathe better and actually relax the viewer's eye and digesting your whole design better. Number four, line width. Just keep those line widths short. No one wants to read forever long rows. So keep those lines short. Number five, alignment. Just a line left, as simple as that, a line left. If you have to align center, sure do it, but maybe for short quotes, short paragraphs. But generally speaking, if it's a lot of content and text, a line left. All right, on number six, let's talk about widows and orphans. It sounds dramatic, but what they are is basically when you have, let's say, just one word at the beginning of a paragraph, and there's a lot of white space then, or a word at, uh, at the end of a paragraph. Those are widows and or orphans. And also, it just interrupts your reader's eye, and you don't want that. They're just alone by their own over there. They need some buddies, which is more characters or more words next to them. All right, number seven, we're almost there. Caps, use it with care. They're hard to read, okay? So if you have a lot of content, don't use it all in caps. If it's just a big, bold message or dramatic message, three, four, five, maybe six maximum rows, then it's fine. But don't go further than that. It's just gonna look odd if it's all in caps. And the last one, number eight, color contrast. You need color contrast between the text and the background behind it. Thank you so much for watching so far. Now you're ready to hear my bonus material. And that one is related to certain trends that are going on right now uh, for typography. And it's exclusive just for you. And thank you for watching so far. By the way, consider subscribing, like this video if you enjoyed it and hit me up in the comments of course with any questions you already have about what you heard so far or any struggles you have with typography i'll be happy to answer number one is using loud and bold fonts why this works it's because it just makes your message dramatic or bolder or uh, louder so and it's more of an attention grabber so Use these with care, of course, don't abuse showing to me. Another trend is text layering or cutouts or overlays. This is something that you would do when you want to express uh, texture or uh, an emotion. For example, you can have some imagery elements and some text, mask it up, boom. Look at this beautiful result right here. 
And my last bonus tip or trend that's going on right now is, you guessed it, you know what it is? Mm -hmm. It's hand letter fonts, which everybody tries to learn how to do it. A lot of people suck at doing it. There's some amazing font designers out there to follow, but if you're just getting into typography, I would suggest just buying those fonts um, and using it yourself. All right, so question of the day. Which are the top typography rules that you use in your design most of the time? I would love to know that. So please hit me up in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe if you like this. Hit that like button. And until next time, Adrian Sewell from Future Moose is bringing you the best knowledge so that you can become a better designer and scale up your design career faster. Become an elite designer. All right, so I'm, I have to...